This is year number four, and despite winning the championship last year, you did retool. Talk about some of the new additions to the surge. Absolutely. We returned five players. We reloaded with seven new recruits, and the talent for people that thought we were good last year, wait till you see this year's team. We brought in a great local talent. We have uh, Raven Berry from SIUE, just finished from playing overseas in the Czech Republic. At the line for the surge, number 50, Raven Berry. We also have Samantha Price, Cassie Rochelle. Rejection! Cassie Rochelle dominating rejection. And Leah Cotton, those are our outer staters. some rookies that came on board with us. We have Jelena Rosado, which is huge. Then we brought on two Incarnate Word graduates, Brittany Carter, Brianna Pooney. couple returning starters like Jaleesa Butler and Rebecca Harris, you know, you've got to lean on them and I know they've been solid contributors. Back, we have solid veterans a part of our program that are really helping lead the rookies. That way we go for back-to-back -back national champions. And joining us now is one of the stars of the St. Louis Surge, Jaleesa Butler. Jaleesa is from Georgetown University and has been with the St. Louis Surge since day one. Jaleesa, you've been here since the uh, inauguration of the Surge, and you've seen the team's first year. And uh, last year, you won the WB's CBL title. Mm -hmm. And back there uh, this year, you've reloaded a little bit, added some new players. You know, what do you think so far? You know about being a St. Louis Surge. Oh, I love being a St. Louis Surge. It's, it's nothing better. Able to come home and play in front of your family and all the fans of St. Louis. It's a big thing. It's actually bigger than basketball. I mean, this year has been an awesome year. We're looking forward to taking the title again. So we're just working hard out there. Now, coming from Georgetown University, how did you make your way to St. Louis and to the St. Louis Surge in the beginning? Oh, I'm actually from, born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. So, I mean, I've been here. Me and Khalil actually grew up and playing basketball together. So she just kind of grabbed me and was like, hey, I come play for the team. And ever since I came to the first practice, I loved it. And I've been here. You know, what are some of your favorite moments, you know, playing for the St. Louis Surge over the last three, four years? So what are some of the things that, you know, that have been really fun that you've taken away from, uh, from being a member of the team? Um... We're just a family. Like, we, we really love each other. I mean, off the court, I mean, it's a basketball team, but off the court, we really love each other. We really gel together, and we have fun together. I mean, not to mention in winning the championship. I mean, but other than that, like, we really love each other. We really go hard for each other. It's the home opener. Did you feel any pressure going down the stretch, and did you kind of take the, uh, the team on your back there at the end? Uh, pressure, hmm. A little bit. I mean, when the score is high like that, I mean, you just want to put your best foot forward. They got me the ball and they went in the basket. That's all I can say. And joining us now is the leading scorer on the home opener, Rebecca Harris. Rebecca, what a ball game tonight. I mean, it's the home opener for the St. Louis Surge this year. You're the WBCBL champions of the world. <laughs> and tonight, you know, you had a big crowd here. You know, talk about the vibe and the environment and, uh, you know, just the good love out here tonight at Umsel. I mean, um, it was definitely a great crowd tonight. 
Uh, seeing how I played last year, I'm used to what the fans can provide us here at UMSL. So we were trying to prepare our rookies and let them know what to expect. Um, I think maybe, you know, some had some jitters in the beginning, but they loved the atmosphere, and I told them always look forward to that here at UMSL because we have some great fans. You know, the crowd was very supportive tonight. Nebraska came to play. I mean, there was no joke. You guys got up by 10 a couple of times, but then they cut the lead, and then they even took the lead towards the end of the game. What were you thinking down there towards the end of the ball game? you know, when it was back and forth? Um, hats off to Nebraska. You know, they've definitely stepped up their game, um, definitely from last season and also from the first game that we played them at their place. Um, and they definitely gave us a run for our money. But my thoughts were we're winning this game no matter what. And, and that was it. You guys kind of willed your way to victory. You had 18 points in the night. You were really battling it out there on the court with number 10. Uh, was it Risha Bristol? You guys were going back and forth. It was like a heavy, it was like a boxing match. You guys were getting a little chippy out there. Uh, you know, it was just, just two competitors. Oh, absolutely. You know, I have the utmost respect for her and her club because she's the owner as well. And, um, you know, she's doing what I'd love to be doing. And, you know, once I get a little bit older, uh, She's in great shape, and I just felt like she was their best asset, you know, all-around player and holding it down for them. So I took it upon myself to take that challenge, you know, and guard her as much as possible. And, I mean, it was a great matchup, matchup a great challenge for me, and I look forward to seeing them again when it comes to tournament play. In the program and the press guide, it says, you know, it, it states how you were playing in Europe or overseas for like the last six years, you brought home a bronze medal. Can you tell us about your experiences overseas? Um, this year uh, was my sixth season that I just wrapped up, and I played in Poland, but also in the Euro League, where we travel to other uh, countries and play their top teams. And my team finished third in Poland, and I came home with a bronze medal, which is my first European medal. So I'm happy for that. Well, congratulations on that, and talk about your basketball camps. You and Coach Tony Condra are conducting some basketball camps uh, you know uh, this summer and that's got to be a lot of fun giving back to the kids and uh, getting out there hooping it up and showing some of the younger people how to play absolutely you know I came home and there was just less gym action and I am one of those kind of rare females in my area that likes to play with the guys but also you know I like to work on my game and get better and every summer I come home and I work out with my coach, my old high school coach, and uh, I help with the Mascuta camp. And I had decided that I wanted to run my own camp and, and you know, help out as much as possible in my area. Things are a lot different these days compared to when I was in high school. But that's because I don't feel like there's much of an avenue for these girls to get in and get that work. So, you know, I offer a camp. Um, it's on the website. People can go click. Click the link for my camp information, and it's in Belleville, Illinois, and I'd love to help your kids get better. Yeah, coming from University of Illinois, and how'd you find your way to the St. Louis Surge? You know, me and Kalia, the owner, uh, we actually had ran into each other um, when the Surge was owned by someone else back in the day, and that's how she knows me, and that's how we are connected, and she called me up after she had already taken over the team and had them for two years and completely changed things around. And she called me up and asked me if I'd be a part of what she was doing and it was definitely one of the best decisions I've made. Rochelle dominating rejection. 